Hello everybody, we're going to check out the uh, four different ways to get a game on the free internet chess server today. We're going to walk through uh, four different ways to do it. The uh, simplest one, the simplest way to get a game is to type get game into the console. And you can always tell at the top of the uh, window that you're working with, it should say console connected. If it doesn't say that, then you're not in the right place. So what you can do is just hit shift F2. If you get lost, anytime you hit shift and F2, it will take you to the console uh, text entering area and you can just hit shift F2 and then type get game uh, immediately. If you hit enter, you'll immediately get a game. And I just got one against some guy that I'm not going to play. I'm going to type abort, which is sort of rude normally, but since I'm making this video, I'm going to make an exception and go ahead and do that. And I'll probably apologize to the guy later. And uh, that's the first way. Now the positive thing about getting a game with that command is that you get it instantly. The negative is that you have pretty much no control over what kind of game you get or who you play. So if you're at all interested in uh, being specific about that, then get game uh, either isn't the command you want to use or you want to learn how to apply a little bit of um, specificity to the command. I was afraid to say that word. I thought I'd mangle it, but I got it. So now, uh, next command that you need to know is the seek command. If you do know what kind of game you want to play, but you don't care who you play it against, or you, you don't care specifically who you play it against, you may have an idea of the strength of the opponent you want to play, or the type of opponent you want to play, but you don't necessarily want to name them by name, you just have a general range of opponents, then the seek command might be for you. So again, in the same console window, uh, you would type seek, and let's say I wanted to play a five minute game where there's no time added to the clock after each move, which is uh, a pretty standard thing to do. So five minutes and then zero is the increment. Increment is what, uh oh, I've got an auto observe going here, sorry. Let me get rid of that. That was one of my friends that I automatically have observe when he plays, so just ignore that. Seek five zero is what I've typed, and that's five minutes for the initial time on your clock and then zero seconds added to each, added to the clock after you make each move. And then I would hit enter, and I get to post a seek. Now, if anybody else wants to play that, they would see that on... Uh-oh, I tried to abort before. I wanted to get rid of that before I got a game, but I didn't do it quick enough. Uh, so I abort for that guy again, sorry. Um, so I got a game fairly quickly that way because 5-0 is a pretty standard time control, meaning a lot of people like to play that. So somebody else might have been seeking that exact thing, or they might have seen that on what we call the SOT graph. And I'm going to go over here to the SOT graph window. Or I thought I was. Sorry, there it comes. And uh, what we see is a lot of little dots and they're either squares or circles and all that. Um, the shape and the color and all that depends on what type of player they are. And these lower dots down here are for players that are either unranked or they have a low ranking or rating. The higher it up is on the screen, the better the player. And you'll see some squares up here. Um, the squares, I think, are computers. I don't know because I don't really use this, but I think there's a there's a uh, legend somewhere that tells you whether gray is unrated and red is rated and that kind of stuff, which is what I suspect. But anyway, the higher they are up on the screen, the uh, better the player. The lower, the uh, lower rank player they are. Now, left on the screen means fast games, and right on the screen means slow games. So the fast games are where you have a minute, two minutes, three minutes, something like that on your clock. And then the longer games, this line right here is for 15 minutes. And anything higher than that is higher than 15. So way out here, this dot right here is for a 15 minute game with 45 seconds added to the clock after each move. So it's a pretty long game. So what you can do is if you find a game on here that you'd like to play, you can just put your mouse on it and click and the game will start. So, uh... Whenever I typed seek five zero earlier, for somebody else, a little dot that represents my seek appeared on this kind of a screen. So they either had typed seek five zero themselves, or they saw my dot appear and clicked on it, and that's how I got that game earlier. So uh, there's two ways that you can get a game. The third way that you can get a game is if you use the match command. The match command has pretty much the same syntax, the same usage as the seek command. For instance, if I wanted a 5-0 game, then I would, again, use the 5-0 in my match command. However, with the match command, I'm sending the match command to a specific person. 
So since I know that this friend earlier that started a game is playing, I'm going to send this to him. Uh, and it will, should say that he's already playing a game and he won't get the match request. But if he weren't playing a game, then he would see a challenge appear from me. So what I typed was match rook check, who's the player's name, and he started a game earlier, and that's why it automatically popped up, is because I have him on a list of players to automatically observe. Don't worry about that. That's just something that happened, and it just lets me know that he's playing a game. But for now, um, I'm sending a match request to him because I know it'll fail since he's playing a game, or at least I hope it will. If he's already finished, then he'll get it. But match rook check 5-0, and I hit enter, and he's getting it. So I'm going to, and great, he accepted. Uh, so I'm going to tell him what I'm doing. I'm going to say making video, sorry. <laughs> so he'll see that later. Uh, the next thing um, that I want to show you is uh, the formula. <laughs> He wanted to play a specific opening, so I'm just going to ignore him for, for now, and I'll talk to him later. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is a uh, formula. Now, if you're using the same interface I have, uh, which is called Bobbis Chess, then you can do a graphical version of the formula. If you go to the View menu and type Formula Wizard, you can walk through, and it will ask you specific questions about what kinds of games you want. For instance, on the first page, it says, Only accept challenges for the following game types. And it's got things like the variants of chess, like Bug House and Suicide and uh, Losers and Atomic and all that stuff, uh, which I'm never interested in. So I don't put a check mark in those because I don't want those kinds of games to pop up. Uh, but it also has the uh, time limits that you might want. So you can be as specific as you want. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. Um, you can also type Help Formula into the console. Again, Shift F2 if you're not sure where the console is, if you're in Baba's Chess. Help formula and hit enter and it'll give you all kinds of information about that. Uh, and you can uh, read how to set that and uh, filter out some match requests using the formula with the text version. Now, here's how the formula works. Earlier when I typed get game, I just typed it by itself and I got a game instantly. But if I type get game space F, it'll get a game, but it'll use the formula that I have to select what kind of game I get. So now I'm being a little bit more picky about what kind of game I want, so it might take a little bit longer to get the game. Usually it's still pretty quick to get the game, but now it might not be because I'm being picky about what kind of game I want. So get game space F if I want to use the formula. And again for seek, seek 5-0, if I want to apply whatever restrictions I had in the formula to my seek that other people can respond to, I can do seek space 5 space 0 space F, and that would mean that my formula should apply to this seek. Now the third thing the formula does is, uh, I'm going to close this board window. Uh, the third thing that this uh, formula will do is it will filter out things off of the SOC graph. So if I look at my SOC graph, if I typed uh, set formula time greater than 15, which is a valid formula, and then I hit enter, then my formula would be time has to be greater than 15 minutes. So basically anything to the left of this line right here would not even show up on my SOC graph because my SOC graph is filtered by my formula. So anything to the left of the 15 minute line will be blank because those games are not uh, getting through my formula. Anything to the right would be greater than 15 minutes so it would show up. Now I didn't, I didn't do that but I could. As a matter of fact I'll do that and I'll just show you what it should look like. So we'll go set formula uh, time greater than 15 and I hit enter so formula set to time greater than 15 I come back over here and look at my thought graph and you can see this left side is completely blank and there's only a few little dots to the right of that line and usually not very many people look for games that long so that's why it's sparse anyway but if I uh, filtered out with my formula all the games to the left that's all that will appear and that's how I do that you could do that with the little dialog box that I showed you in the view menu or you could do it with text like I showed you here. So let's review. The different ways to get a game are get game by itself or get game F. We could also use seek and then whatever parameters I wanted. I could do 15 0 or I could do 5 0 and then I could add an F to that to use the formula. And then the third way I could use uh, to get a game would be the match command if I want to go 
to a specific player. So match rip check. And he's still asking me why in the world I aborted that game with him and all that. Um, I was hoping he was still playing that game so he wouldn't get the request at all, but he did. So match rip check, and then I could use 15-0 if I wanted to. Um, and then the final way would be to look at your sock graph. And I'm not even sure if I said, but um, if I wanted this game right here, I would just put my mouse over it and click it. And that would be how the game would, would start. So those are the uh, generally four basic ways you can get a game on the free internet chess server. So um, if you have any questions, comments on YouTube would be great. Or you can ask in channel one. If you don't know how to ask a question in channel one on the free internet chess server, all you have to do is type tell, T-E-L-L, -L, space one. And that means you're going to talk to channel one, which is the help channel. And then you just ask your question. How do I get a game on FICS? And I'm not going to ask that because um, I'm pretty sure those people know I know how to do that. So, uh, But that would be the way you would do it. And anytime you want to respond to that, you could type tell one. And uh, if you've already typed tell one something, then you can just use a comma, which is short for telling whatever channel you just talked to. So if I had ac actually asked that question, then the next thing I could do would be, okay, I could put comma and then okay, thanks. And that would send the last, it would send the text to the last channel I talked to, which is channel one. All right, that would be how that would work. All right, so again, if you have any questions, channel one or on YouTube, thanks for watching.